So if you want to bring in some scanned models to a Nomad, you can use a piece of software called Polycam and you can even scan from a something spinning on a screen, so a turntable on a screen. So I'm going to show you how to bring this T-Rex skull. I'll just go to a museum uh, piece, so we'll use Sketchfab, um, spin it around on the screen, scan it on the screen and bring it into Nomad. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so we need a skull to model um, and uh, we could download one, um, but if they're not at the right level that you want, then you need to scan one really. And we don't have time to go to a museum and we, we you know, we, we want one a little bit quicker than that. So you find one of the level and the quality that you want. So this one, I, I happen to know because I've scanned this a few times. Um, and this one here is uh, the, the, the company uh, or the museum that have it. So it's, it's from the collection and the Natural History Museum in Vienna. And they say um, they, they would love to share the model, but they don't own the actual skull. So they're, they're, they're not particularly bothered about you having um, the data, but apart from the fact they can't validate that, it, that it's theirs. But obviously we want to model it. So we're... we're hopefully going to be able to use it just from a, a, um, a model in reference point of view. So we're in Sketchfab, um, you would, you know, it would be ideal if we could download it, we, you know, that, that would solve our problem, but we can't. So we'll go full screen on this, and now we can fully spin it, spin it around. And now what we'll do is on the phone, we'll switch to something called Polycam. And I've just got the free version here. Turn it this way. Um, make sure that you're on photo, um, manual photo, and now what you can do is you can just snap photos. So I go in and I just say, I, I would do it without lighting in the background, so ignore the lighting on mine. So I would just basically just say, uh, take a picture, rotate it, take a picture, rotate it, take a picture. And I think you want something in the region of about 150 to get a good scan. Um, and then, so you go all the way around, and then turn it to the top and then I'd spin it that way as well and then spin it to the bottom um, so, so you get every part of the model and um, once you've done that then it's quite simple so you just say um, I'm going to turn mine off because I've already done it but basically all you do is say process it um, so um, on here you just say here's all your photographs um, and you want them just to you basically just hit process that takes a few minutes But what I'll show you is I'll just do save and exit is what happens when that scan is complete So here is the finished scan so if you look around um, I'll turn it this way for a moment You can see that it's picked up even the numbers on it. It's picked it up and it's reconstructed it pretty much exactly as I would want it so it hasn't got all the teeth, it couldn't pick all the data up from the screen from, from the teeth, but it's picked up the entire shape, it's picked up most of the texture, and from most angles you can you can you know you can use it. So from there you just hit export. And what I've tended to do is just use OBJ, and that brings out the textures as well. You can use GLTF. Um, if you're doing it for AR, that, that might be a better option. And then you can also spit out um, point clouds, which means that the, the, the vertices, so the, these are the, if you want to send out ju just the, the shape of the model in the points, and you can also export the, um, the texture as well. So once that's exported, you get a zip. So you open that zip up, and then we just nip over to Nomad and see what we've got. So we've downloaded the uh, scan and we've unzipped it to our iPad. So what we need to do is go to import open and then navigate to where we've put it. So um, we just put it in a folder uh, called T-Rex scan. I just select everything and bring it in. And then at least I've got everything loaded. Now you've got now just a, uh, a geometry, uh, a piece of geometry basically. So this is the scan. If you look at the wireframe on, you can see it's normal scan data. So it's actually done the scan. It's not the cleanest, it's not the best. You know, you wouldn't want to use that without cleaning it up, but at least we've got a 3D model from a load of um, 2D images, which is what we want. So if you come up to the top here, make sure um, that use textures is switched on. Um, I generally use um, just lit and then I come across here 
So I'd come up and just check if the texture's in. If it hasn't come in, then just tick on here and go to files and then bring it in directly into this folder. So um, I'll navigate again to that same folder and we'll just bring it in. So we just want the, the texture uh, the, the texture map and there we go so we've now got the texture map in you can also bring in it generates you a normal map as well so from that same place you can go in you can bring in your normal maps your roughness your, your metalness now it does say in nomad but bear in mind this is quite early days yet look here it says at the moment you cannot um create or edit these textures inside a nomad but you can bring them in and the point is that if you scan something, you will get a normal map and, a, you know, you, you get all of these cool maps that you can use. And then to make it cool or to make it usable, basically switch on post process. Let's put a background on, let's put an environment on and then light it as you normally would. So this is with the HDRI, obviously, in the background, um, but this will make it cool um, already. But with the post process on, once you start putting things like, well, ambient occlusion is already on and depth of field is on. So it's actually pretty much how I would want it already. Um, what we could do is just add maybe one more feature light. So this would be a rim light, uh, make that a spotlight, bring it around the back. Um, Turn it round. And bear in mind, we've got tons of these lighting videos for Nomad if you want something like this, if you want to know more about this. Uh, have a look at the top now, and I'll show you uh, I'll show you some of our lighting videos. Um, I'm just positioning it, and then I'm going to crank up that intensity like crazy. There you go. And there you go. You've got a, a fully lit, scanned model that you can now clean up. You can use it as it is. If it's a bit of environment, then, you know, by all means, just, just you know, you, you don't even need to clean it up. Just use it exactly as it is. Now, what I generally do with things like this is I'll then retopologize it. So I'll get it working um, to a point where I can use this data. So I use other programs like ZBrush and Blender um, for a lot of that. But we're getting there with the iPad now. Most of these functions will be available on the iPad soon. Of course, what you can do now is use all your normal Nomad, you know, tools and um, all the all the things that you you would want to do. You can obviously um, do things like a voxel remesh it, but be careful, obviously, because you're using a texture map now. So you you know you will destroy your UV uh, coordinates if you if you start doing anything. Um, destructive on it but yeah a really cool way to, to you know if you've got something that you can't uh, you know you, you've got a model that you want to get hold of and you can see it you know a turntable of it you can scan it like this and just use it um, like I'm doing here as a reference I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of all the people who like this kind of content and if you like it enough to drop us a like then please subscribe to the channel hope you have a great week and see you soon